I don't think anyone understands how excited I am. Like I, I'm so excited. Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa Davis and here's my mom and my sister and we're getting ready to go to London, whoop whoop, UK. We're so excited, so we'll see you there. onto our flight and it's gonna be probably another like 30 minutes and we leave but we're almost there just eight hours away so we've landed we're in here. London Gatwick and we're waiting for the train to take us to London Victoria so So we haven't made it out of the stations and mom already got lost, so <laughs> we found her. We're good. <laughs> Hi, we're, we're here! here. So we just dropped our luggage off and we're on our way to, what is it, Charles Dickens? Charles Dickens' house, home, whatever. It's like three miles, so you know, we're gonna go on a hike. So we finally made it to the Charles Dickens Museum and we're about to go in. So it, this better be worth the walk, that's all I'm going to say. So we left Charles Dickens and now we're at the British Museum and let me tell you, it is gorgeous. So if you want to see a dead person. Do you guys want to meet my boyfriend? Yeah, let's do it. He's a cutie, all right. Now we're on to Japan. Japan, our home country. So we just got out of the British Museum and we're literally starving. Right now it's like 10.30 and we're like all really tired. But tomorrow we're going to go to Buckingham Palace and all of the historical stuff and I'm super excited. So see you then. Good morning. It's gonna be a great day. Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. One of ten. Two of ten. Hot cross buns. Good morning. Today's gonna be a good day. So excited!
look, I found the booty. Oh my swans so thinking so big so this is where Kate and William lived but I'm guessing not anymore because we can actually go but yeah this is our mansion so this is Princess Louise's diamond necklace tiara it's absolutely gorgeous so, It's not about Victoria and Albert. It's kind of like the British Museum yesterday. But, um, Mom's got a joke for you. Now, what is the sword, Mom? Okay, this is the hanger sword. It's the sword that you don't hold when you're hangry. Because it's the hanger sword. Haha, <laughs> knee slapper. I have to find one. And then there's nothing. <laughs> okay, that's the end of day two. We're all tired. It's like 12 in the morning right now. So we're going to go to bed and jump back into it tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, guys. It Good is morning. day three. Sorry, there's a bug. Day three of us in London. And today we're going to... Dover. 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 Oh. Ca yeah, okay. Dover, Dover Castle. Castle. Dover Castle. In Canterbury, England. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Castle. We're going to be on the coast, so it's going to be kind of chilly. But it's hot in the city, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> So this is Dover Castle. Are you excited, Dad? I'm very excited. <laughs> so this is the room in my house. This is was built in the first century AD. It's literally so pretty. I I just can't. It's gorgeous. Ladies and gents, that is the White Cliffs. It's so pretty. And that over there, I don't know if you can see the People land, across. it's France. This is the what um, closest yeah. point in the English Channel. Right, so, the like, so this is the closest point to I'm France. Sorry. So we're in Canterbury now, and we're going to the Canterbury um, Cathedral, and Canterbury is like a very old town and city, so it's, it's medieval. Really cool. So it looks like they're like refurbishing it, refurbishing it, but it's huge and gorgeous. The amount of interest is Intricate. How do you say that? Intri intricate. Yes, yeah, the intricate. Intricate. Intricacy. What she said is crazy. It's so. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is so pretty. It honestly reminds me of Westminster Abbey. It's a little courtyard. It's really pretty. Little garden. The flowers are pretty. It's really pretty. Maybe like a prayer garden or something. Say hi, mom. She's so cute. This is the part that they do their actual services in. Where everything looks kind of like an entrance bay. I'm guessing the choir is just here. It's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful.
So we're done in Canterbury and we're heading back on the bus to go back to London to her flat and we're gonna go eat dinner at St. James Pudge. So it was a good day. A lot of walking walked like 7.1 miles, but it was a good day. But that's the end of day three. And tomorrow we are going to go see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. And I'm so excited for that because if you know me, I'm a huge fan. I love Harry Potter, so that's a really big, like, exciting thing for me. It was a good day. It's going to be a good day tomorrow. Good night. See you later. Hey guys, it is day four. This morning we like walked around. We went to the National Gallery or Trafalgar Square. Tomorrow we're actually gonna go inside National Gallery. We went to St. Martin's Church, which is really pretty. We well, came back, changed, and we're about to leave for the Harry Potter and Chris Child show and I'm super excited. How excited are you, Elena? Super excited. How excited are you, Mom? I can hardly contain myself. How excited are you, Dad? Where's the loo? I'm excited. Okay. Okay, so we uh, ate dinner, took a nap, and we're back for show two. So, this was so good. I cried. I cried so much. The first act was rough. I was scared. I was like, oh, this is not very good. I was, it's, it had to be scared. It was kind of just like trying to catch you up to the point that the story starts, which is towards the end of act one. But from like the last three acts, oh my gosh, the amount of detail in this performance was phenomenal. And in most productions, it's kind of just the dialogue and the characters and the actors and the actresses. But the tech played such a huge role in this production and it made the the show like 10 times better. Because so I was kind of scared on the fact that watching the seven, like eight movies and reading all the books, like these characters weren't going to be portrayed the way I think they should be. They did a phenomenal job. I am not, I don't want to spoil anything. The amount of illusions and magic they had in this was crazy and you could not see like any fault with it. It was so stinking good. I was not disappointed at all. The only thing I still don't understand is they never tell you who the cursed child is. And looking at the uh, like cover, like it, you just don't know. 10 out of 10. I love Harry Potter. I'm going to name my son Harry because I'm just so obsessed, but... <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing tomorrow, Mom? Buckingham Palace. We're going to go take a picture in front of Buckingham Palace. We're going to watch the horse parade. We're going to see the National Gallery. We might go to Harrods. We're going to Banqueting Hall. It's apparently where King Charles I was executed, so... It's going to be a great day tomorrow. It was a great day today, so see you on day five. Good morning, it is day five in London, and right now we're just kind of walking around the market, but we are going to St. Pitch in front of Buckingham Palace, Banqueting Hall, we're gonna go and to National, National Gallery. Gallery it's going to be a good day. That is so cool. So, Trump is in one of those, first the very first helicopter, so hi Trump. Okay, I don't know if this is weird, but I'm in the banqueting hall bathroom, and wow. I walked in and my mouth literally dropped. Like, look at that door. Why is this so nice? So guess where we are? The Beckingham Palace, again. The reason why we can't get so close is because the queen is here, and so is President Trump. Woo! So we went to the Buckingham Palace and saw Trump. Well, we didn't see Trump. We saw him. We saw his. Yeah, he saw his really car cool. that he was at. We saw that. That was really cool. We went to Harrods, but calm down, calm down. All we got was chocolate. That's all we can afford from Harrods because Harrods is ridiculous. Now we are at this place called Slug and Lettuce, and it's so cute. And I'm excited because I'm starving and. The food looks really good. So. It's honestly so cute. Say hi, Dad. 
Hi. Hi, Dad. Jimmy. Tomorrow we are going to Notting Hill, Portobello Market, and Sky Gardens. Tomorrow is our last day, so I'm really sad. But it's gonna be a good day. And then we're gonna be, a, a, we're gonna like tour all of UK, and it's gonna be great. So see you on day six, boys. It is day six up here in London. It's a little sad that it's our last day, but it's gonna be fun. Scotland, Ireland, it's gonna be a blast. I hope you enjoy it. So we stopped for a coffee break and we dropped off our luggage and we are in Notting Hill right now, sipping our coffee, just enjoying some time. Today's a pretty easy going day, so. Are we there yet? Okay, Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> so we're currently in Sky Gardens and it's really pretty. It's party. So we're in our hotel room and we made it. yeah, finally, whoop whoop. We're gonna go eat some pizza. But first off, can I just show you this view? I'm not giving you a choice, but still. Like, look! Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I forgot to film the end of day six yesterday, but we're leaving London today, but we're going to Stonehenge and Bath. So stay tuned for the rest of my UK tour. Peace out, Girl Scout.